Houston, we got a problem. Look at how this is rusted out and broken. We're going to change this whole thing out and fix it up. Hey girl, today we're going to change this drop-in bathroom sink. To remove the old sink, you will need a utility knife to be able to score and loosen the caulk up from underneath the sink, adjustable pliers or a wrench, water bucket to catch anything that may fall out of the pipes, a hammer or chisel or flathead screwdriver or an eight in one tool to be able to lift this up and loosen it up. Now to install the new sink, you're going to need a new sink, of course, uh, some waterproof silicone caulking to attach the sink, a new faucet and drain and a towel as well. Now this is a pretty big job here. You're gonna be dealing with plumbing, so make sure that you take the appropriate step before removing anything as you may damage your vanity or pipes underneath. If you do not feel comfortable taking this one on yourself, there's no shame in hiring a professional to help you out. My name is Marley Espinales. I love DIY. My goal is to help teach you how to do certain things around the house yourself and save some costs along the way. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. That way, as I release more content, you will get notified to watch. At this point, I will assume you have already measured your old sink and have purchased your new one that will fit perfectly in the space you already have. So let's get started with removing the old sink. The first thing you have to do is turn off the water supply. You can do this by turning off the main water valve of the house or by just going under the sink and turning the shut off valves there. I'm gonna go with option two. Once that is done, turn on the sink to confirm there is no water running and to release any water pressure. Next, we're going to disconnect both your hot and cold water supplies, which connect to the water valves. Since I'm going to be replacing these supply lines, I'm going to unscrew them from the bottom. If I were keeping them, I'd unscrew them from the top and leave them connected with the valve. First, make sure to put a bowl or rag underneath to catch any water that may fall out. Then grab your adjustable wrench or pliers and begin unscrewing to loosen them off. Once you've done this, you're going to move on to disconnecting your stopper, which is essentially what stops the drain and allows water to fill up into your sink. Then you're going to unscrew the actual faucet. You might have to find a comfortable position here. Sometimes this can be a bit tough depending if it's rusted or corroded under here, but use your wrench and pliers to help you along this process. Some sinks are different, but this old sink has some clamps connected around the bottom of it. So if you have those, go ahead and remove them one at a time. Next, you're gonna to wanna to unscrew the drain pipe nut. Essentially, this is connected to your P-trap. Your sink is essentially glued down with some silicone or caulk. So take your utility knife and carefully begin cutting around the sink to remove it. Take your time as to not mess up the vanity. Once this is done, get a chisel, a flathead screwdriver, or an eight in one tool to wedge it underneath the sink. Next, what you gotta do, we're gonna clean around here and then we're gonna get the new sink and we're gonna measure it, see if it sits well, properly align it before you put any caulk um, or silicone on it and latch it on. So let's get to cleaning and we'll move on to the next step. Now that that's clean, we're gonna take our sink and we wanna just see if it fits properly. There's no issues, that it's all leveled. 
in that your holes on the top for the sink new faucet are actually aligned. There's been issues with sometimes them being not straight, so it won't look appealing. So before actually setting it all in, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the faucet, put in this new one. It's easier to do it outside um, instead of going underneath and trying to position everything. Now we're gonna add the silicone waterproof around the sink and then place the new sink on top. So let's go ahead and do that. Next, we're gonna connect the supply lines to the water. Next, we're gonna connect the stopper for the faucet. And then our final piece will be reconnecting the pipe and we should be done. Okay, we got the drain pipe installed, the stopper supply lines. Now we're going to turn on the water. And we're going to test out the sink, make sure there's no leak. All right, we're testing the water. Let's turn this on. All right, everything's going well. Let's see. No leaks. No leaks. Success. We did it. All right, we did it. The new sink is in, the process wasn't too bad at all. So I hope that the steps that I laid out for you were easy to follow. If you do have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. So catch you next time for the next DIY video.